Oh, fightfans.com. What's up, Bishop Mayor? Pretty boy Floyd, the one and only. Uh, hello to uh, fightfans.com. Fightfan.com. James Lights Out, Tony. How you doing? All right, so uh, we're fightfan.com on location at the Wildcard Gym with uh, Freddie Roach. Uh, appreciate you having us here. Uh, we want to start off by getting you to reflect a little bit on the uh, Pacquiao Marquez rematch. Uh, have you watched it a second time since you saw it live on the video? Yeah, or anything? I, I watched it and uh, it was a very good fight, a great fight for boxing. Um, I thought Pacquiao. Um, his power shots made the difference in the fight, and um, it was a very close fight. I thought um, I thought he um, could have won either way. You know, I was happy we won the decision, but I think the knockdown was a difference, and I think Pacquiao hurt him in the late rounds uh, yep. once or twice. And uh, it was a big, the biggest disappointment, I think, was the they complaining about the, how they got robbed and how like, right. uh, they say that I fixed one of the judges because because. Um, one of the judges is a family friend, and I, right, right. I, I, I made that public. So yeah. the commission decided to make the change, not me. Yeah, yeah. It's commission, commission uh, um, decision. Yeah. And uh, but anyway, um, I'm glad we won the fight, and um, you know, I thought um, you know, they, they they went to uh, Jerry Penalos' fight to challenge Manny. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I thought they tried to take away from Penlos's um, moment. Steal a little bit of his thunder. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, and they said, we got robbed, we got robbed. And uh, they threw a contract in front of Manny at ringside. And Manny he said, you know I won the fight? And Manny said, yeah, I must have got lucky. So <laughs> he's he left sense of humor. But, yeah. um, you know, um, so, but uh, that's what we're done with. It was a good fight. And um, it, it may happen again someday, but um, not right now. How do you feel the plan that you guys worked on in, in advance? How do, how do you feel that worked out in terms of the execution in the fight? Uh, the game plan didn't go as well as I thought. Um, I, we worked on moving away from his right hand all night long. Yep. And, um, Manny moved into the right hand all night long, and I couldn't get his attention to get him to change that. And it's kind of. It's kind of funny because they both reverted back to their the natural character. Manny was hungry to land his straight left hand, yep. and Marquez was uh, content with counter punches. You know, when Manny was laying on the ropes, when he was cut in that uh, one round, it looked like uh, yep. he was ready to uh, to uh, back it in. I said, Manny, what were you thinking? He says, Well, he says, if you're gonna knock me out, come 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 get me. Come do it now. And Marquez wouldn't go after him because yeah. he's a counter puncher. Yeah, yeah. And he might have had a chance. I, I think he had an opportunity at that time. And Manny, Manny says he gave him one, and, uh, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't capitalize on it. So, um, was Manny looking to counter punch at that point? Because that was how he generated that knockdown. I believe that's what he was up to. Right. But he won't admit it, but I think so. <laughs> Speaking of that knockdown, a big difference in this fight is that it didn't seem to discourage him when he didn't get him out of there and he managed to press forward with his fight plan. Was that a big adjustment? Uh, well, you know, we know the guy got up three times last time, so, you know, we're used to it now four times now, and uh, obviously he's a, he's a very resilient guy, and uh, he's, he's a great fighter, and I, I respect him. Um, um, I think um, the, the crying about the decision. I think I think that was bad for boxing. Yeah. You know, um, what him and his, his trainers and so forth. If we lost the fight. I couldn't complain if we lost by one point. Let's yeah. face it, it's a yeah. close fight. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, it was a great fight for boxing, you know, and I thought that they should be, you know, the decision was what it was. You know, I'm not the judge, Manny's not the judge, they cried like we robbed him or something like this. We're not the judges, but we didn't call the fight. No, everybody thought it was pretty even, so. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty close fight. So the thing is, a lot of close rounds, a lot of yeah. people like this, a lot of people like that. Manny was more, more aggressive. We used him as a close round, the aggressive we used to get the, get the edge. Uh, Aside from the controversy on the scoring, one thing I wanted to ask you about was I thought that there was a tremendous improvement in Pacquiao's performance from the first fight to the second. And uh, what kind of adjustments do you think he made that allowed him to be a little bit more successful throughout down the stretch? Um, you know what? 
movement. Yeah. The thing is, when Manny gets up on his toes and starts doing in and out motion, yeah. and he comes in flurries and gets out of the way real quick, that's his, that's when he's at his most effective. He works on that a lot. Because one thing about Marquez, he's got fast hands, but he's very slow with his feet. Yeah. He kind of sets himself a little bit. He, 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 he counter punch him out. So um, when Manny uses that style with him, he can't, he's got Marquez reaching, reaching for him a little bit. It's very effective, and uh, I wish we had done more of that early in the fight. No. Is that a general improvement he's made in the last few years, uh, being more difficult to hit, moving his head a little bit more, the in-and-out footwork? His defense is much better yeah. than it was, because uh, he was always an easy guy to hit before. Yeah. And now he's a little more elusive. You know, you know, even at one time when he's on the ropes making a miss, and yeah. those shots, it's just, uh, he was having a little fun there. Um, I wish he had made uh, the counter punches after he made a miss like yeah. that. But, yeah. you know, he was content with uh, just, uh, I think he was trying to maybe show Show his defensive skills and uh, how much he has improved with that. So, um, he's getting better all the time, I think. And uh, I think, I still think Manny can get better. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There's room for more improvement in that regard, do you think? Yeah, you know, the left hook wasn't there so much because. The left hook wasn't there because Marquez didn't throw his jab that much. And he gave yeah. the southpaw south. That that's right. He was going to cut. We blend our counter, his jab going over the top. But Marquez abandoned his jab when he. Because he's a smart guy and yeah. he knew what we were up to. Yeah. And so he, he led with the right hand quite a bit in the fight. And uh, it's part of the game plan that we didn't see coming. The right hand, did he use the right hand enough for your liking in the fight, or was that an adjustment uh, that Marquez made? We, it was an adjustment Marquez made. And yeah. he, and he tried, but he just. Uh, the movement of Marquez and the in the in with the right hand took that kind of punch away from us. All right, Freddie, well, I uh, appreciate you uh, taking the time, man. Uh, thanks very much for talking to fightfan.com, as always. Thank you, man. All right, cheers.